Hello and welcome back to Nasty Nate, Plant Exterminator in the Farm of Dune. I felt guilty. I did a, a video on Ian's green beans, so I had to come over here and do a video on Roki's green beans. But uh, And those are the green beans over there. We'll, I'll go over there in a second and take a look at those. But I just wanted to, because I had done the video, mentioned the teak and shown them in a couple previous videos here. Uh, those teak are coming up. They stop right at the, where that creek is. There's a little creek down there. Uh, it's kind of dry. Somebody at the v way on the far end, on the other side, um, over there, has made a tilapia pond. So they kind of cut it off, but it still gets some some water. But right now, it's it, that, that doesn't have water in it. But it filters into this main creek, which is still flowing over here, and we'll probably continue to do so because we're going to get some more rain. Um, but I had stopped with the teak there. I did plan on doing border tree over here. I just wanted to do a different type of border tree. And I think I've decided to go with Malave. Uh, it's an endemic, <laughs> endangered species here in the Philippines. And it's a very pretty hardwood. So um, I wanted to plant that one as my border tree back here. And then I've decided... Uh, too that 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 is actually going to extend all the way up here to the mahogany but there's a section over here i want to do with pine just some regular old pine trees uh, they're available and uh, i'd like to put those down uh, but then the rest i'm filling in with just just mahogany because that area is uh, get some is prone to some moisture, retaining some moisture, so those mahogany will do better there in that particular spot. So I'm just going to walk over here, hopefully set my machetes down. I'm going to run across another cobra. But this little pocket here, oh, and this has a row of uh, bananas right there. Uh, some up, up further where we had the little uh, weed spray disaster. But these bananas are doing really well. This is just a line because I had the, the rows coming down here. And I cut across this little pocket just to kind of seal off the little pocket. On, on each side of the uh, banana there are mango steam. And they're kind of out in the open. So they're, some of those are struggling. That's why we have the bags on them. But ooh, I love mango steam. And I hadn't had one until I had gotten here. But... That's one of my favorite fruits now. But this little pocket here that I kind of sectioned off it is great. It's got a, it's actually fairly large. That's a lot of green beans over there. It extends out pretty good. And this is another great little uh, patch here. And you can see some rocks that have to be situated. We had, I had done this kind of rock wall where I'd place them along here. The edge, it was going to be some sort of like uh, moisture retention then. So then as water is flowing down, that wall would kind of hold some of the moisture for um, the crops. But it's, it's a well-drained area. So that would have been good to try and retain some of that moisture for them when they're growing. And it looks like they have some flowering going on here on these green beans, which is great. These, these guys are looking... And these are further along than irons too, but they could definitely use a little rain because I see some they're green, nice over, nice and green over there. They get a little yellow over there. So, but yeah, just some more, some more green beans. So we'll have. I wish they they just spaced them out because I, uh, I I really like the green beans, and when they're available, we get we get to keep the rejects. We get to eat some of the rejects, so. I'd rather have them spaced out, <laughs> so that way I get more rejects longer. So I can eat green beans a little longer instead of just the rice oh, and the nasty. And limpo's not bad. It's just it's just a greasy pork, uh, salty. Virtually, uh, the, you know, that's the flavor, salty. This was, I had a patch over here where I, that's where I was burning the bunchy tops. Oh yeah, and I did do a row of banana apparently after that. They totally have let this one go. There's one, two, I see the stick for the other one, and there's one missing. So 
It's supposed to be a row, and it's it, it was supposed to be to help the mango steam, but it looks like it kind of got lost a little bit. Hmm. That or I may have stopped because it was too close to something else. I thought I did that. That was, uh, I know exactly. All right. Good, good. Yeah. We should get these weeded. There's some of them are still, still alive. So we'll get on that and get that cleaned up. This mango scene is way out in the open. I don't think it's going to be doing very well, but some of these are doing great. This one's doing okay. Not as green as I'd like it. But we're keeping them alive.